Good morning, good morning, beautiful Saggies. Welcome back, everybody. Happy July 4th to all you out there, and I hope you had a great weekend. I'm going to start off the read with some uh, tea leaves. Let's see what spirit has first beautiful Saggies today. This July the 4th spirit. Oh, I just dropped one and it can stay. No, spirit's in pick them up. All right. Cain, pay attention to your health. Getting together with friends. A wish is being granted. <laughs> okay. Anything more for beautiful Saj? The song that keeps playing on my mind, Saj, is by Alabama. Lady, why, lady, why? Why can't I leave you alone? I try, lady, try, but the feeling's too strong. Mm-hmm. A journey, either physical or mental. Mm-hmm. I've been feeling the energy, I gotta say. Sagittarius, I don't know if you're feeling the pull, but I am. I can tell you that, it's bothered me all night. You should accept valid criticism. Maybe this person, maybe you. Hmm. To do with a career. So, a wish is being granted here. Pay attention to your health. Getting together with friends. A wish is being granted. There's a carriage here, a journey, either physical or mental some type of career thing somebody might be criticizing you on the job something to do with that but it's because you're getting a wish granted or let's just see what's this all about here this wishbone this carriage you know i'm picking up this strong energy many of these um uh, divine unions are coming back in to the scene the energies are getting stronger and stronger some of you have already reconciled and some of you are rec are coming together with new um situations this is like some of you are going on a journey either physical or mental and i'm strongly feeling that getting together with friends so something to do with a career move there's some criticism there um, All I know is whatever criticism that you're facing, the message is loud and clear from yesterday to take it with peace. Don't let it rock your boat. People often criticize to get you off your course, to set you off balance. Spirit is saying to pay attention to your health because this criticism might just do that, be designed to rock your boat i know for a lot of people a wish is being granted and many of you it is career many of you it's travel others of you it's this union i know for a fact that many of these uh, divine unions are contacting you in the 5d i felt it so strong yesterday so I know it's true for some of you. The feeling is too strong. I try, lady, try. Uh, 
<laughs> Can't get you off their mind. I try, lady, try, but the feeling's too strong. To be on my way would be the best thing to do. But why, lady, why can't I get over you? That song is crucial. That's why they're pulling on your energies. And <sighs> it's for some people I can feel that energy. It's so strong. Mm. Saji, what's this about this wish being granted these friends? Journey. And the spirit is just reiterating that if you're facing some uh, criticism from people you work with or friends or people around you, release it in peace. Don't let it rock your foundation, you know. Just accept it. Yep, the divine director is here. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. That's why. Spirit, what is this? Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Faith is here. Human humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world especially when you're facing um criticism just it's all good facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar a wish is being granted whatever that means to you sag um major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar a wish is being granted so stay calm just handle it all with calm don't let whatever's going on rock you because you're about to be receiving divine intervention granting you a wish um facing fear Something big is unfolding. Mm. please spirit what is this all about this wish this uh hmm. what is this about you're being observed that's why even if it's in the 5d Someone is observing you. Someone is studying you. <laughs> well, Treasure Island is here. Some, Sag, there's something big going on. There's a wish being granted. It's divine intervention. It could have to do with career. It could have to do with uh, whatever your wish was. It's Treasure Island. That's a wish being granted. Someone is observing you as Treasure Island. Go the distance. Hmm. Orphaned.
Hmm. Now, what I'm picking up on, this orphan, whether you're alone, whether you've been orphaned, go the distance, you'll reach Treasure Island. This person who is observing you wants to go the distance. They're missing you. I have to say it. For others of you that are just focusing in on career and new love, this is something that goes the distance. You won't be alone for long. If it's career, you feel you're doing it alone, same. But in this case, it is the never-ending story. Some, this observer, and I know darn well they are, even if it's in the 5D, they are watching you, they're observing you, they're seeing you as Treasure Island. They want to go the distance because they are missing you. It is the never-ending story. It's in the fates. There is divine intervention here. Flexibility is being here. Spirit is saying, stay calm, be flexible, or they're testing you to see how flexible you are. Soulmates coming together, new or old, it, the energy pull is so strong. So if you're dealing with any kind of soulmate connection, it's faded. It's a never-ending story. This is uh, partnerships that go for lifetimes, you know? It never ends. It's faded. Flexibility is here with a soulmate. Someone may be seeing how flexible you are. If you're not dealing with the past, this is new. It's faded. It's a soulmate, and they're observing you. It's a never-ending story. It's past life soulmates. Doesn't have to be this lifetime. You know, it's a never ending story, but for those of you in divine unions, it is a never ending story. They can't leave you alone. Vice versa, if it is a male Sag dealing with someone else, it's the same energy. Even though you don't want to deal with that person, for some of you, some of you do, and that's why it's here. Otherwise, it's new, male or female. But uh, for divine unions, I'm feeling the pull. Mm -hmm. Yang. When you're soulmates, it's like you're twins. When one is away from the other, you're not in balance. It's like you're missing the other counterpart, and that's what this is. For those of you looking and seeking and only being open to new love this is the yang to your yin or your yin to your yang unfinished symphony something left undone it's uh, faded it's a never-ending story it is an unfinished symphony why the pull is there. You're in the here now, Saj. This could be currently going on, the here and now. These unions, unfinished symphony, staying in the here and now, being in the here and now. I'm just saying, someone, there's unfinished business here. 
I know a lot of you don't want to hear about the past, but I have to read the cards as they are. This is unfinished business. It is faded and it's in the here and now. If you're not dealing with the past, it's very close to being in the here and now. Unfinished symphony. Sagittarius. Others of you are just focusing in on the here and now, focusing in on friendships, focusing in on career. Whatever this is to you, a wish is being granted. It is divine intervention taking place. That's why the poles are so heavy at this time. Attachments. Staying in the here and now. You're stable, you're confident, you're grounded. You're in the here and now, Sag. Whatever that is to you. Focusing in on career, finances. But whatever you're doing, you're at peace. You're confident, you're grounded. You're in the here and now, which is awesome. And I think what that's doing is attracting your soulmate in. New or old. Yep, because this person is in their mind. They can't stop thinking. They're not happy. Ten of Cups in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. Unfinished symphony. They're not happy. They don't want to run anymore. Or perhaps they can't. Because that's why you're attracting your soulmates in. New or old. Because of your self-confidence. This is someone who doesn't really have a care in the world, is quite confident on their own. Creative projects, work projects, you know, your focus is on the here and now, and in the here and now, it shows confident. It shows stable. <laughs> this person wants to rush in. See, the person who was the runner doesn't want to run anymore. They want to sweep you off your feet. They want a romance. If you're not dealing with the past, this is someone new. They're admiring you. They're watching you. They're observing you. And they want to date you. They want to sweep you off your feet. They want to romance you. The romance is in the air. New or old. They want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. They want teamwork with you they see happiness with you if you're not entertaining the past this is the new you're just starting fresh they might want to ask you out on a date work with you it could be some of you work with this person or some of you are just focusing in on your careers and you're quite happy doing that at work Whatever it is, it's long term. Happy life, happy family, happy outcome, commitment, higher levels of commitment. That's their goal. Somebody has to make a decision or did. Knight of Pentacles, making a decision, coming in slow but is afraid. 
There's fear here. Could have been afraid of commitment. Or <laughs> they're afraid. But uh, somebody is Yep, wanting to speak a truth because they have they're holding on to your energy for the past. I feel the strong energetic pull. I spent about two hours this morning trying to clear my energy of it for the collective. When I start asking about the collective, these people have never let you go. They may have walked away, but they energetically never let you go. They can't stop thinking about you. You're always on their mind. Willie Nelson, you're always on my mind. Lady by uh, Alabama. The feeling is too strong. To be on my way would be the best thing to do. But why, lady, why can't I get over you? Because it's a soulmate. So some of these people want to communicate. Gain some wisdom. Because they're sad without you. They can't stop thinking about you. And some of these people are going to make an offer. Because they can't get you off their mind. I'm just putting it out there. They've received illumination. <laughs> this person sees you as Treasure Island. The ships have come in. Uh, they can't, how do you forget Treasure Island? <laughs> the best thing they ever had. In a world gone mad, you're the best I ever had. So how do you stop thinking about someone who you shared a bond like that with? For others of you, this person who is watching you, your new soulmate, sees you as Treasure Island, happiness, long-term commitment, wifey material, husband material, whatever it is in your case, either or. Those like, they can't, they can't get you off their mind. And there you are, just in the here and now, stable, confident, secure, grounded. You're in the here and now. You're happy. You're just doing you. Focusing in on your career, your family. Mm -hmm. But they cannot. Some of these want to take you out on a date for new. They want to get together, go for drinks, hang out, whatever. For the old one, they want to reunite. And they're heartbroken without you. They can't stop thinking about the betrayal. And the divine is intervention is here. Spirit will make them. They want to take off the blindfold. They didn't want to see it. It's like they were blind, but now they see. Oh, well, that's the past. Yep. They can't get you off their mind. This is the past person looking at Sag in Sag energy. Vibing high. You're attracting in your soulmate. Whether you're going for new love or whether you're just entertaining this past person or whether you're just focusing in on your career. Your vibes are high. You're calling in 
wish fulfillment. Your, it's divine intervention going on here. Whatever that is to you, a wish is being granted. It's wish fulfillment, and I knew that. So whatever your wish fulfillment is, Mm -hmm. Someone's going to take a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. And they're going to present you an offer. Career. You're going for it. Careful of criticism of your friends. If your friends or group is criticizing you, your job is criticizing you, Go with the flow. Stay calm. Because you're about to be blessed. It is divine intervention. You're getting an opportunity. Someone wants to commit to you. You're getting a promotion, a raise, an increase. Whatever your wish was. There is... <laughs> Some of you, I'm hearing your friends are criticizing you because this past person wants to return and they might be saying you're a fool if you, if you reunite with this person. But Spirit is saying you choose who you want to choose for your lover. Don't let people influence you. Uh, take their criticism with a grain of salt. Stay calm. It's your choice. For your life because there is a lot of people around Sagittarians who tell you how to think or like to give their two cents their two bits and uh, do and make a choice that is good for you others of you you're gonna fall in love with somebody who you go out on a coffee with or a coffee date or just hang out but others of you, your friends, are going to try to influence you, criticize you, tell you you're a fool if you take this past person back. Spirit saying, go with it. Accept their criticism with peace. It's 10-10 on my <laughs> microwave, guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. Receive it, Spirit saying, whatever you wished for, receive it. Be open to receiving it, because it's about to happen. This person has a lot of love for you. That's why they can't stop thinking about you. The wheel is here. Things signifying change. The wheel of fortune is in your favor with divine intervention. New or old, it's equal give and take, equal reciprocity. Love yourself enough to give to yourself to receive this wish fulfillment, whatever it is to you. Because this person is attached to you still. This is a strong bond. They feel tied to you. They obsess about you. They're becoming, their thoughts are becoming obsessive. And that spirit doing that work, that's divine intervention. Um, it's also the karmic energy. But this person can't leave you alone in their thoughts. They want a new cycle, that's why. They feel the distance. And they don't like it much. They think the world of you, this person. If it's not your past person, you already know. That don't sound like your person. It's not your person. It's someone else's. This person thinks the world of you. They obsess about you.
new, for brand new, this person loves you. They're loyal, they're stable, they're grounded. And this person, Someone wants to return. Spirit is doing divine intervention. Is this person can't get you off their mind? They are looking at how they betrayed you. It's like obsessive thoughts. It's like how they walked away, how you walked away. They can't stop, get it off their mind. Others of you who have walked away from the devil, you're leaving them there. This person who's coming in is very in love with you. Very stable, very grounded, dedicated. If it's career, it's stability, it's finances, it's wish fulfillment. But I got to say, there's a tower going on over there. Yes, that's why it's divine intervention. Mm -hmm. Someone is manifesting, it's faded. Someone is manifesting, it is faded. That's why their energy is so strong at this time. It's like spirit egging them on persisting after them, affecting their mind, their thoughts, when they sleep. They cannot get you off their mind. If you're hoping to reconcile, if you're not, this is faded. You're calling in your soulmates. The energies are so strong. Mm. Yep. Somebody is lonely. Somebody is doing soul searching. Twin flame. That is faded. Whatever is faded, nobody can mess with. The universe does what the universe wants. And even if you don't accept that person back, spirits like driving this person. Others of you, this new soulmate is stable. It, there's some reason to celebrate. Whether that's career, whether that is a new home, whatever you wished for, it's faded. It's divine intervention. Beautiful energy. Four of Wands. Stability. Celebration. Weddings. Twin Flames. Faded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever it is. This person is receiving some type of enlightenment and i think spirit is keeping them in this hermit energy receiving this enlightenment and they're keeping them stuck in that energy until they complete their work They're going through an ascension. They're going through um, probably dark night of the soul. And spirits keeping them there until they receive this ascension, this enlightenment. For others of you, <laughs> you have ascended. To a higher level 
and you're in the spotlight getting success getting a wish fulfilled look at you on stage spotlight on you receiving attention receiving accolades recognitions rewards things you've been working for wish fulfillment it's successful This person is exhausted. I'm pretty sure they're going through Dark Night of the Soul. A tower is hit. And, uh, oh, they're doing, they can't stop thinking. Because that spirit interceding, intervention going on here to make this person receive enlightenment so they can ascend on their journey. It's faded. Others of you who have been lonely, been stuck, heavily burdened. <laughs> it's wish fulfillment. You'll have success and a victory. But for twin flame unions and deep soulmate connections that you want to reconcile with, it's divine intervention going on. This person's going through it. They're going through dark night of the soul. They are heavily burdened at this time. And they're watching you. The observer started with the observer, finishes with the observer. Light bulb moments, learning, higher education, ascension. That's why they're observing. They're being observed by spirit, but they're observing you. New love, this person is watching you, studying you learning about you because they want to commit to you. They want marriage with you. They see you as wifey material, husband material. Take it as it resonates. Whatever you wished for, you're going to receive it. And I'm leaving it there. This person is learning, receiving illumination, light bulb going on, studying, student, higher learning. Gotta tell you, they're going through an ascension. They're going through dark night of the soul. And it's divine intervention doing it. So, that's why they're observing you. New, old, whatever, job, career. You're learning new skills. You've had things clear to you, you've ascended, and now you're being rewarded for that ascension because all the pain that you went through was actually your ascension. You've been through dark night of the soul, and this is new. Others of you who are looking uh, to reconcile with your soulmate, twin flame, they're doing the work. It's spirit doing this work inside this person. They're heavily burdened. They're going through it. It's dark night of the soul, which is not easy for anybody. But it's for their higher good. It's for their ascension. And they are going through it. It's faded. And they are watching you. They're watching your success. They're watching your ascension, how you ascended and are learning by how you ascended. It's a very good read. It's strong, strong energy. I could not clear this energy for two hours of trying. It's strong energy. So big stuff is happening in the month of July. I just know that. Take care, Sag, and God bless.